My name is Freddie and I am eight years old. I am blind but I can see some things like colour, light and dark. I've been going to school with my sister since I was four. I'm Lisa Woodward, I'm a year three teacher and I've been teaching Freddie this year. Reading is really very much a strong part of every single lesson because in maths they need to be able to read problems and so on. I use a braille to type braille in class. I can write just the same things that the other kids do. Things I like to do are play games in the playground at school. Sometimes I'm talking to kids and they just walk off without me knowing and I still carry on talking to them and they should tell me that I'm walking off and let me finish the conversation first. You find yourself doing and saying things that you would do normally but you're then having to adapt it to remember you've got to include a child who can't see you making a gesture, can't see where you're looking or what you're pointing at. When we come back in September, we're going to be taking part in the Read for RNIB Day. Now, as part of our activities this morning, I thought we'd try one of their quizzes, which you can find online, OK? It's great when my friends are in class, learning a bit more about what it's like to be blind, and it makes me feel more included. Is it hard to read brown? Do you think maybe we should let somebody try that? Right, now we need Celine to close her eyes shut tight. In front of you, if I give you the card, can you feel it? actually the alphabet. Can your fingers make any sense of it? It takes quite a long time to read Braille to sound out all the words, but if I listen to an R and I be talking book, it's much quicker. And I say that listening to a talking book, I still count it as reading it though. So so I'm like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've read it. During the last year with working with Freddie, I found out that there are only 7% of the possible books available to blind and partially sighted people. What do you think about the fact that if Freddie went to the library, he can't just go and pick a book off the shelf to read? It wouldn't be very nice. So what do you think should happen? They should all be available at the same time so Freddie can read them as well. It might be a bit annoying sometimes if I can't get the same books as my friends. Help us change the story. Register today at readforrnib.org.uk. Read for RNIB Day, 11th of October.